In the daily challenge of cooking meals for your family, home cooking recipes can be a help or a hindrance depending on what you expect from them. Uh, recipes are very good at telling you some things, uh, but they don't help you with an overall kitchen culinary journey. And the things that recipes don't tell you like we've talked about, well, variations of ingredients and, and substitutions, measurements, uh, oven temperatures, stoves, variations in time, in makeup of materials, and most importantly, why, why you're taking the steps that you do. Recipes are best used as a guide for cooking meals, just like a musician uses sheet music as a guide for playing that particular song. Have you ever heard a cover version of your favorite song, somebody else doing it, and it's really disappointing? It doesn't sound exactly the way that you would like. Uh, I'm a fan of Counting Crows, the band, and went to see them, and uh, Mr. Jones was their big hit at the time years ago. Well, Adam Duritz comes out and he sings Mr. Jones like it's a poem. Mr. Jones. And I wanted to hear them play the song. I didn't want a variation on it. So if you learn to use recipes as an inspiration for your interpretation, you'll have some things to overcome. You'll have strength and ability over recipes, and you'll overcome the things that recipes don't tell you. And here's some tips, ways to educate yourself. So when recipes have the failing, the shortcoming, that they don't tell you for substitution of ingredients, what do you do? Well, you become familiar with families of ingredients so that you can substitute spinach for escarole, um, uh, carrots for daikon, ostrich for steak, you start to be able to substitute because you understand the family of whole foods available to you and the method that you use in cooking them. Measurements? Forget measurements. Cook by your eye, cook by your mouth. Your desire to complete that set of instructions is distracting you from your art. Remember, the cookbook doesn't know your kitchen. The cookbook doesn't know everything, and it's a lot, there's a lot of stuff that it's not telling you. So forget measurements and cook with confidence. Gain the confidence by creating variations on things that you already know. And as for variations in oven temperatures and times and so on, forget about temperatures and times. Your oven is 25 degrees different than your neighbor's oven, and it's going to cause it to cook at a different time. How do you overcome this, this fact, the things that the recipe left out? Well, you look for visual cues. You look for the coagulation of proteins. You look for gelatinization of starches. You look for caramelization of sugars. You look for evaporation of moisture and reduction of sauces. These are all visual cues that transcend time or temperature. And lastly, how do you make up for the fact that a recipe doesn't tell you why? Why you're doing the things that you do? Well, you overcome this by learning basic cooking methods. You learn methods, methods like saute, steaming, poaching, roasting, grilling. This all enables you to look at a recipe as a method, just like the piano player looks at sheet music and attaches their own personal interpretation. You are empowered over the shortcomings of recipes when you have the method behind it and you can interpret it as if it were music. <laughs>